Yeah, Roger, Chris. I am on bottom, depth 395 meters. What is that small one right there? Do you okay. see that? The small one right there? That is a lantern truck. That is one. Oh my god. It's coming. No, stay, stay. My name is Nicolas Straube and I'm an evolutionary biologist studying deep sea sharks. I'm joining the Ocean X expedition for trying to film the bioluminescence of the velvet belly lantern shark in the fjords of Norway. Shark bioluminescence has never been observed in the wild and this is something we intend to do during this expedition. Since I'm a child I'm interested in the sharks, especially deep sea sharks. Critters with huge eyes and uh, special features. The velvet belly lantern shark is very abundant in Norwegian fjords and it also occurs here in contrast to the open Atlantic Ocean in rather shallow depths. So I take the fish book. <laughs> Given those two things, high abundance plus easy accessibility, this species became a model species for the bioluminescence research. Yeah, Roger, we're happy for divers in the water. I like this right here. Then we, can, as we go down, we can turn into the sun. Perfect. I'm ready to bed. A general definition of bioluminescence would be the capability of organisms to emit light. Bioluminescence is very common in the deep sea and given we have more than 500 species of sharks on Earth, um, about 11% are actually bioluminescent. Confirmed in terms of um, seeing them glow, it's, it's only about five or six species. I don't think uh, too many people are aware of that. Hey, so this is Neptune Ventling The bioluminescent system in sharks is still very poorly understood. They have these photophores. A photophore is basically the organ which emits the light. In lantern sharks this is a combination of different cells embedded in their skin and that is known for quite a while now since specimens were collected for scientific fish research since hundreds of years. If you analyze the skin of those specimens, you will see the photophores. 15 years ago, research started on analyzing this bioluminescent system. And uh, experiments showed with live animals that they actually glow. Control, control, this is... The bioluminescence you know. serves slightly different functions, but we never observed that in the wild. One function which is kind of very likely to be fulfilled is uh, countershading which is a type of camouflage. Imagine that you're a predatory fish who is living in the deep sea and is looking up to the surface. And if a fish would pass by above you, you would see a shadow. This is actually a lantern shark with lights off. So you would clearly see there is potential prey. But as soon as the shark switches on its light, it disappears. And that cloaking of its silhouette is called countershading. A lot of different deep sea taxa do that. It seems to be very important for survival. Okay, so this is actually um, a lantern shark specimen from the fish collection from the Bergen Museum. They have these lateral markings. We call them flank markings. So what we can see here is uh, the flank marking. Those markings are believed to be useful for schooling so that they can stay together in groups. And uh, we can also see um, one of the dorsal fin spines, which is right here. Those spines are illuminated as well. This could be used to just tell a potential predator, don't bite me or you will be pierced by these spines. The back also carries photophores, but it does not light up as bright as the belly. It's just uh, certain patterns, stripe-like patterns, which may be used to warn off predators. It's just 40, 50 centimeters. So if you're that size, there's numerous fish which could eat you. And is 
visibility lights on, 10 meters, maybe 15, over. We will use the gear OceanX provides, submerged boats and ROVs, with the sufficient camera equipment to try and film the bioluminescence of the lantern shark in the wild. A lot more going on compared to last time. Ideally, we would be able to support or falsify the hypothesis assumed for their different functions. This is it. This is lantern shark territory, right? <laughs> I'm certainly nervous that uh, we don't run into enough uh, sharks to film the bioluminescence properly. We really have to meet them by chance. What is that small one right there? What's like that? The small one right there? That is a lantern shark. That is one. Oh my god. It's coming. No, stay, stay. <laughs> no. Okay, great. Well, we got some. <laughs> but he was he was biting the boat. Did you see that? Yeah, oh, he, he was again. biting the boat. He likes our bait. Okay, I think we should turn the lights off. Yes, please. So we went diving in Sonnefjord, trying to film the lantern shark bioluminescence, and we were uh, seeing several, and we do have a little footage, at least in a bright light of a lantern shark, which I think will turn out very nice. And uh, yeah, and we have to review the footage. I'm really uh, excited. That was uh, the first time actually I, I saw one alive. And especially since I normally work with museum specimens, seeing them live is fantastic. They are very cute and very beautiful animals to me. That's a very nice footage, yes. You can see the black belly. Wonderful. All the uh, very dark areas, um, for example, the belly, are covered in high density with a uh, foot force. Oh yeah, here it comes. Very slowly swimming in mid-water. Right above us, but... Um, you cannot see any... In essence, here I wonder if the, the remaining light from the other sub may be too bright actually, because the light is uh, probably very dim. But I can see a clear shadow. Ha! Huh. I would expect that it would light up. Okay, no luminescence here, unfortunately. Well, next time. So you're not discouraged? No, never. <laughs>